Howdy doody, and good morning peeps. And we're back at the seaside. And for a sunrise, as you can see, the tide is fully in. So there you go, tide's in. Sunrise, it's gonna be just over here, this left-hand side, just above the piers of Whitby. And I've had to put the, um, the light on for the time being. Plus, we're about 45 minutes away from sunrise as such. So I've got the time lapse going. And I think there might be possibly a long exposure going on down here with the steps as well. But composition wise, we have got the beach huts, as you can see, all down this side. So it's composition. We've got this rail just here, got the wide angle on, take into account this, lead, this little nobbles and the rail leading you down. Also, the beach, so beach huts. And the reason I've come to this side is hopefully we're getting the glow from the sunrise, getting the beach huts and getting all the high cloud because it is forecast only high cloud so yeah so i have got a, a bit of a starter image just with a glow so it will be a nice bluey one this so for the time being i'll bother the starter image on while i pull them in on this composition for you and i hope you enjoy this one Right, peeps. As you can see, it's a little bit lighter now. <laughs> Colour is just starting to happen a little bit. I don't know whether we're going to get stubbed out a bit because it does look a bit hazy. However, we are getting a bit of wave action just on this side and that down here. I will move further down there later on after the sunrise and just see what wave we'll get. But composition wise, I've moved slightly over. I'm on the wide angle lens. I'll put you through at the viewfinder because this is the composition at the moment. Oh, you won't be able to see that. But that's the composition at the moment. I've come more or less in the middle because of the wide angle lens and this distortion. I know Lightroom will put most of it right, but I want to try and get most of it right in camera. <laughs> so I have come a bit further forward. So I have got the railings coming from the left hand side of the frame all the way across. I've got these beach huts. I've come more in the middle because I want to get, get more of these beach huts in with the colours. I've got a touch of yellow on this one coming in but it does go the red the green the blue the yellow alternating all the way down just because i want to try and get a bit of the peering on the left hand side as well and obviously that's where the sun is rising so i want to try and get that left in the frame hitting these beach juts so yeah we'll see what happens so it's a nice long exposure minute i'm on f16 i did iso 200 at first obviously because of the light levels and it was a 30 second exposure, so it just made this water like a mill pond. So, yeah, I'll pop this one on for the time being and then we'll see what happens. Right, peeps, literally a minute after speaking to you last, I'm going to turn you around. We haven't got no lighter jet on the beach huts. But what we have got is reflections starting to happen in the windows, which is ideal because look at this. I am now that six seconds, which is going to be ideal, really. We are getting now reflections in this water, as you can hear. We're getting wave action further down and all at this side. Plus, high tide is due at five past six, sunrise is due at quarter past six, and the time now is just bear with me. 10 to 6 <laughs> so it's all coincided at once so yeah this is this could be quite nice this so i'm just hoping when it does break we'll get this color so i don't know whether you can make it out on this we are getting some nice reflections now just in the windows of these beach shots so yeah and what a glow this is i've got the time lapse going as well so you're going to see it all on the time lapse so yeah happy days just hope now we keep getting this colour. So anyway, I'll leave you for the time being as I concentrate on this because I think we could end up getting a bit wet as well just because of these waves, but I'll show you this now. We are getting reflection on the water. So yeah. Right, 
peeps. We are starting to get a bit of colour. We are starting to get the morning glow now, right behind the two towers of the harbour there. So yeah, it's looking quite nice as this. We are getting a bit of wave action as well. As you can see down here, they are just crashing against the side. So I've mentioned before, once it happens, I will go a bit further, but I think I'm going to bring the camera out of this side now and concentrate on this side for a different composition. Just looking down the sea wall with these. So yeah, let's get us up with that composition now for you. And then I'll come back to you when hopefully it all starts to kick off again. Okay, right, have you seen we'll change composition a bit. I've come more or less this side, so I want to try and get a bit more of this wave action involved as well. I can't really go down any lower than these steps because the railings then cut too far into the beach huts. So yeah, even though it is quite a tall tripod, it's just not quite tall enough. <laughs> and I'm only a little short ass. But that sun is starting to come over now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a long lens on and get a shot as the sun comes up right between the stanchions, just over here. <laughs> Of the pier for you. Let me just let me get that sorted out now for you. Right, peeps, just let me bright, uh, calm this down for you a bit. There we go. That is roughly the composition now and the exposure I'm going for. Just exposing for the highlights as such, so I've just got a cloth in my hand as well. And I'm shooting at the same time. So I have, I have just upped it now to F22, just because I want a sun star. <laughs> You know what I'm like with some stars and stuff like that. So yeah, hoping for a bit of some stars it comes up. I am stepping backwards and forwards because we're getting stuck like this. Happening in a minute as well. So yeah, it's it's all kicking off. I've set the time lapse going again. <laughs> so yeah, it's all happening. Sunrise with high tide, and it is just about to clip the horizon now. So yeah, happy days, happy days. About time some light actually happened for the belt thing on the channel. And it is still catching these beach huts as well. So when it does drive, I'll go back to the wide angle and go back to the original composition, which is looking straight down here. So, yeah. Enjoy this time lapse for the time being. I'll come back to you in a wee while. I think I might just put the photographer's curse on it. <laughs> it does look like we are going to get phased out a little bit. I'm still taking a few shots, just hoping it's still going to break through. But might even get it. It comes right behind the stanchion. Just around about here somewhere. I'll try and copy in a little bit for you. Then we might get a lovely silhouette. But yeah, we'll wait and see anyway. But for the time being, I'll put what I've got on so far with this 200mm on. And then, obviously, we are still getting the wave action down here so yeah it's still a lovely morning to be up on the side of a beach i think we've seen two people so far two joggers run on so yeah that's all we've seen so yeah i'll put a couple of these images on a few will be silhouettes so i hope you enjoy these As you can see, we have been hazed out a little bit, but it is giving us a nice moody sky. It's quite dark and moody just above. above right above us, it's absolutely clear. That's not bad at all. But over there, it is quite dark and moody. I'll switch lens, switch lens. I've come down to the, the Sony one now. Back to the original composition, just because we're getting a bit of side light now, we're just hitting these huts. And all this floor is now wet, obviously, with the, t with the sea and that coming over, so yeah. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm not alone either. My brother's actually here. <laughs> you don't really see him on a few vlogs. So he has had a time-lapse going on the drone. 
So whether it has come out or not, I'm going to pinch that off him. And I'll bob that on for you now. As we, I think we are going to try and fold this tide out, depending on how quick it goes out. But anyway, for the time being, I'll bob the few images I've got on now. And this one back to the original composition. So yeah, the tide is on the way out now. As you can see, it was up here, up to the steps more or less. And it is starting to descend away. So yeah, we are still getting a bit one or two bits of waves crashing in. So yeah, I'll put this on for you now and then I'll come back to you. shooting near the sea <laughs> as you can see yes a bit of a rookie error not fast enough with a wave <laughs> right peeps we have come a bit further down this tide now receding I'm able to get to these wooden stanchions that are just sticking up down here, look. So, I can't really get any further than what I am. I ain't going to risk it because it is still slippy and wet. I'm um, getting no wave action around here because the cliff must be just blocking it off. But I have taken a couple of shots just because there's textures and everything on these on these big wood struts. So, what I'll do, I'll end with the final images. If you've enjoyed this, please give the old thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and, yeah. I'll end with the final time lapse and the rest of these images. So yeah, see you on the next one. Bye for now.